What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. We've got another Lime Sport video for you guys today and uh, trust me, this is not a re-upload. Uh, I am back on path 4 with the Domino Trinity. Um, yeah, with the Inferno Gang and yeah, basically you just want to be using Domino. At the very start of the fight, I always, at least against Domino, I always like to start with a... Um, with dashing back just because at the start of the fight if she throws a light attack you can't uh, you can't parry it because it is a uh, it's a projectile so yeah we're gonna start off with that um, block that SP1 and then yeah just keep on going with heavies um, but yeah I, I this team is just so strong for this path just because the stun last just long enough that uh, if you throw a heavy you, you get all the damage and they they're still stunned so yeah I think it's just really strong throwing in my sp3 and yeah this domino is done it was a six star uh, I handled it just fine and now we're on to the what I think is probably the hardest node uh, on the map it's got Aspect of War and Spite, you guys already know. And I believe they went with the Global Siphon, so I wasn't too worried about it. I did heal up a little bit just to make sure I was topped off. Uh, this is a war I believe it, I wasn't too stressed about. Uh, we have won against them before. Uh, and I've taken this fight before as well with the same team. And so, yeah, we're going with the Heavy Strat. And, uh, yeah, another thing about Domino is that sometimes she can get those perfect blocks. Uh, as you can see, there, that parry, I took zero damage. And that actually gives me power gain, if you guys didn't already know. So, uh, there, there was an oopsie. Just the incinerate ended up taking him down. Um, and just waiting for the full length of that, S, uh, that heavy. And now we're getting to the point where we're almost about to um we're basically about to get into that uh that range where aspect of war is about or where he's about to be unblockable so what we're gonna do is um gonna try to bait a heavy if we can but he actually got me to an sp3 so i was like hey i'll take it dude like <laughs> thank you i was gonna try to bait heavy somehow but uh, yeah, you get me an SP3 and we take down Nick Fury uh, quite easily and with uh, most of our health still there. Didn't take a hit. Most of these hits were actually from block damage because our block uh, block proficiency was going down. So at the state of the war, some people were doing too hot. Uh, I don't have a good counter to Iron Man anymore, so I just left that to somebody else. Going and we got another domino. Now this is uh, redouble determination. I've been seeing some pretty decent placements here. Um, so basically, if you run suicides on defense, this is actually a really good placement for some defenders um, because they get an extra, an added 65% uh, attack, I believe, uh, per debuff and uh, plus power rate, etc. And so, yeah, it just makes them uh, a whole lot stronger and uh, a little bit triggered to deal with. Uh, actually, I have a clip. Um, I'm not sure if I deleted it, but basically, it was an Ebony Mom with full suicides. And uh, I took one degen, and it took my Red Hulk down, like, from 50% down to zero. And I was like, wow, I have class advantage and that did 12,000 damage. That is insane. Uh, ever since, because that, I mean, before that would never have happened, right? But because Ebony Maw got updated so that his degen scales to attack, uh, or to boosted attack, yeah, it's such a huge difference. And uh, <laughs> man, that was, it was insane. I was just like, really? Like, this is how I die. I literally took one degen, and it lasted for, like, three seconds. And, yeah, it just took him down. Uh, so, yeah, that was pretty sad. Um, maybe I'll show it, I think, in the next war video. Just, I, I gotta look for it. But, yeah, it is pretty nuts. Um, uh, the combination of redoubled determination and plus suicides, and then the degen now scaling. 
All right, but we're almost done with this domino. I just got to land a couple more hits, and uh, there we go. All right, and so we basically cleared our lane. We still have, um, uh, yeah, well, uh, two more fights by uh, somebody else took this thing. Um, I don't think it was Elsa. See, I think it was uh, Avatar or Astamp. Um, yeah, uh, oh no, it was actually him. Uh, I'm actually kind of surprised. Uh, usually he doesn't take that fight. Um, but yeah, we got a Sentinel here. It's got, um, it's got Safeguard and Tank Buster, Kinetic Instigator. And I kind of, I mean, he didn't really care about this war. I just like, you know, what, let's, let's try Massacre. I never use him. Let's just go for it. Um, and yeah, he's not a terrible matchup for this guy, but I should have uh, gone with somebody else. Um, uh, it's just uh, so on this node, um, it's tank buster. So depending on the opponent's block proficiency, they gain more power rate. Um, and because I believe, hold on, let me check. I believe Massacre actually has decent uh, block proficiency. Uh, I remember using him in, I believe, Variant 2? I forget which one it is. I think it's Variant 2, though. And, yeah, I would use him sometimes. I basically built to an SP3. Get that uh, Incinerate. And, holy! He's got 72% block proficiency. So, yeah, I, <laughs> I knew it was high. I uh, just never checked, but yeah, I would use him for um, I like Iron Man Infinity War. Just he would have so much block efficiency that I was like, dude, like uh, Massacre is killing it here. Uh, so yeah, he has seventy two percent block efficiency. So this is like the reason why like the Sentinel is gaining so much power. Uh, so in hindsight, I should have gone with Red Hulk because his block efficiency is uh, notably lower. And yeah, it just helped me a lot more. And then I just basically I didn't evade that first hit, and yeah, it cost me. Uh, otherwise, I think I would have gotten the job done. And uh, let's see if I look at Red Hulk. My Red Hulk is currently at rank four. Uh, I do want to take him to rank five, but his box is down to fifty six point six percent. So yeah, quite a difference. And yeah. Um, so yeah, end up taking this fight down with Red Hulk. Uh, I'm not really too worried about the analysis because it's gonna happen, and especially the power rate, um, the added power rate. It's just a little annoying, but what am I gonna do? Uh, I just want to get as many charges as I can as fast as possible because uh, yeah, that'll basically uh, triple my damage. So instead of hitting 1,000, I get another 2,000 uh, from Red Hulk's um, heat charges. All right, but yeah, this fight, uh, <laughs> this fight is pretty boring. But uh, yeah, I do end up taking him down, uh, and that is the war. Um, keep an eye out, guys. I, I I did take up two champions to rank two. There was a level up event. Uh, yeah, my first two six stars to rank two. Uh, also, I'll I have a war video uh, against NY. That one was pretty sick too. And another war video where I took full ghost team. I hardly ever take full ghost, but I did for this one. I did die once against a mini boss, but uh, I felt like I just had to take as much health as possible because nobody else took a counter to uh, vision, uh, which, by the way, uh, I actually did receive uh, two videos of people using both Symbi Supreme and Doctor Doom against Vision Arcus on the tri uh, triple power gain node and it's actually pretty nuts it's, it's actually like it's really sick gameplay maybe i'll upload it um but uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the war video i'm sorry uh i've been a little bit busy the past couple days but uh, uploads should be uh straight coming i've been working in after effects as well uh man after effects is such a cool program but thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one take care